Today I'm here with my lovely party partner, party partner. <laughs> Misty Moonbeam, and I'm going to show her how to do the artifact run. You can do this every single day. Um, it's super important if you're a free player and you want to level up your artifacts, basically. <laughs> what you do want to do, because you want to be more powerful. So what you first want to do is we're traveling around the world. That's like the main goal. So you want to have either Kaya or like Razor or someone who's going to make it so it decreases your stamina when you're running. And also throw two win people in your party if you can. Uh, I can't on my account here because I'm only using the characters that are given to me. So I only have one wind. But uh, generally just like switch your traveler to wind and use like sucrose because most people have sucrose. That will also increase your sprinting speed and decrease your stamina consumption even further. Come on, let's get and you can go use the food buff too if you want. But I usually start off here because I'm usually in Liu when I start off my day. So I just go over to the first, this is the lowest one on the map. I have them marked as a star. So I want to come over to Mount Ten, Ten Hen or Tian Hen. <laughs> <laughs> So I just like run down here to the south, jump off the cliff, you get a little tent down here, Don't forget to dive bomb if you want, or just let go. This is a good spot because there's like food and stuff. I don't always click this though. It's just this one here with the shield that actually gives you the artifact. Sometimes you get two. And then I like to just scroll up a little bit to. TQE Valley. It's waypoint in the valley of whatever that word is. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> yeah, here's my map. We go towards the N on your mini map right now, and then follow like the dark part on the mini map. You're going the wrong way. Go to yeah, that way. It's kind of like a path. It's like a green, dark green, so a lower elevation. What's the hurry? There's a nice group of them here. As you see on my map, I got three stars. I don't always have a star per spot because sometimes they're like grouped up closer. I just have one star. So that's why it's good to to see the actual spots. Got all three of them? Okay, nope, the right up behind them, under that tree, basically. Hey, hey, Get the treasure chest another time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> No, like down on the cliff, see? Yeah. The next one looks the same. It's like a broken down building or something. <laughs> and then I like just to keep on going on right from this spot. Yeah, head that way. Right there. And then jump off the cliff. <gasps> yep. A little bit to your right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Just keep on coming on. This is a nice little spot. I only got one star on my map, but there's actually three areas to loot. I'll catch up. What's the hurry? Dodge this. Let the sh 
show begins. Another spot, I only have one star on the map, but there's actually two locations. Kai is my main, so I never don't need these coins. Leave it all to me. So we got these ones. Now we're gonna move on to the next spot, which is the stone. Right here, the Earth Shrine. This one's to the west, and we just jump What's right off the cliff and head towards this big spiky one. The the loner cliff has no bridges attached to it or anything. That's the one. Then again with this like urn style thing. It's often where you'll find artifacts in these type of pickups. Nice. Next one's right at the Mount Ozang. <laughs> hey Ozang! Hey yo! This is uh, another dive it down just to the south. There's like a little hut on a, like a big balcony. The one to your right. Yep. And then we just drop straight down. Again with the urns. Then the next one is actually a dive off of this spot. Once you get the urns, you go up the stairs, What's the and right here on this, this <sighs> box. There's a, other, a couple other spots too that you get artifact from a box. But most of the time, these boxes have like wheat or radishes. Yeah, right off the bridge, straight underneath the other bridge in front of us. Just keep on floating on. Now head to that tree to your left. Not that far left yet, that one there. Go right over top of it. Then you'll see an old building. And you'll see a sparkle. Whatever the hell this is, I'm not sure. Some type of old jar. And then there's another urn spot up here. And then we're gonna run past the waypoint. See some more treasure hoarders. That's one. All right. This is one of the best artist packs, Sprouts, actually. Cause see, so head north to a treasure hoarder camp. Great place What's to get some hurry? coins if you need them, like I do for Kaya. Ah! <laughs> Another test subject. Let's see. Disappear. What's the hurry? Wait till What's see at the hurt? end how many artifacts we picked up during this run. You can do it every day. It takes 24 hours, so I generally try to, if I can, keep it going in the morning, so that the next morning it'll be they'll be respawned and you can do it again. But then, like over time, it ends up getting pushed into the afternoon and then the evening and then at night, and then you're just like, oh, I can't stay up till 12 o'clock tonight to do it. So you just have to like let it go for a day, so you can start it back over in the morning.
So, next one's over here. Just east of that spot in these two wagons. Which, the wagon artifact is actually pretty rare. I think there's only one other spot that you grab one from a wagon. Alright. Going to a Quince, Quince village? Queen, Quincy, Quincy village? <laughs> and just head uh, to your southwest. Over to this urn. See the pattern with the urns? That's where artifacts like to be. It's your favorite spot. Boom. Now these are only commons and sometimes uncommons, but you'd be surprised how fast they add up. Cause like three commons is equal to three, like a rare, like a three star one. Okay, got that one. And then we go over to the other waypoint in the village. Now, when I'm in Monistat, starting off my day, sometimes I start my run off here, and then I just like, you know, you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't really matter, but I find this is the most efficient route for the waypoints and loading. Just inside there. And then we just jump off towards the water wheel. Got this little cart here with some more urns. Run through the little gateway underneath the little lamps. And you find this little like blankets, I guess? Maybe silk? Colored silk materials? I don't know. So now we're gonna go to the stone gateway point. That's the one. Okay, so jump off the balcony, fly over here, or you can just run if you want. But then, this is one of the most annoyingest ones, honestly, because sometimes the artifacts fly over by pops there. Like they just did this time. We'll go back up the stairs towards the waypoint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you get forced into talking to him way too often. Yep, yeah, that way, right there, there's a p portal that you can stand on it. Your little wind boost. And then straight ahead of you and click onto the wall. Yeah, it's not a very good wind boost. <laughs> it's enough though. Just go straight forward, click onto the wall, and go up. This is a weird one because this little table somehow holds an artifact. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Two artifacts came out of that one. Just like, where was it hiding them? Like, look at this. Where was it hiding those? Okay, perfect. Now we just like head over towards the shrine area and upwards. Gotta kind of go to the right spot or else you end up doing a lot of climbing. You don't want to climb because climbing takes a lot of time. So, <laughs> yeah.
Another shield spot. Oh, it's not a shield, it's a backpack. Yep. Next one's right here at the Sal Terry. Terra E. Terry. is a glorious artifact spot look at this look three different spots all in one tent oh nice so yeah pretty good next spot one of the best spots in the game in dragon spire this is a new lo artifact locate farm spot Right here, Star Glow Cavern. So this one is fall down this awesome hole. Down this tunnel to the right. There was a giant ice thing here. So if you haven't been here before, then you might need to get the fire crystal gem thing. Gives you the heat power. And then when you hit the ice, it will disappear. Then you can come in here, and then this is the best spot. Look at this. Four spots, and some, and yeah, tall characters actually can't go under here. <laughs> like my Kaya, I'm pretty sure he's too tall and he gets stuck. Oh, no, he went that time. I think it's the way back you can go, but the way in you can't, yeah. I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, these ones generally like are. See how it's a green one? Like I often get three, sometimes four greens from this spot. Like the free artifact XP in this locate is definitely worth it. Like, and then the next one is in Ming Yun Village at the Stone of Geo. Once we land at the stone, we just wor aim ourselves to the west. Yeah, fly this way. So you fly straight to this one, to your right some. Yep. It's in the tent with the shield again. The other ones are just like radishes and whatnot. Good, good. And then we move on to Wang Shu Yin or Shu, Shu Wang Shu Yin. Shi Yun. <laughs> so I just like run straight through the inn, glide through it like a hooglin, and then jump off like a crazy person. <laughs> then we swim. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yep, swimming right across. Swim to the rock and then swim to the other one. You got some urns. Got the urns. And there's a little bookshelf over here, which is pretty random. It's like the only, it's a pretty unique spot. To find an artifact underneath this chest or whatever. So that's those two spots. Okay, so that's all the the, the big circle. I like to go around in the circle and then leave the center spot here because it's like the most complicated route.
most complicated route, but also probably the most fruitful route, because right, right smack down in the center of it, right here, is five artifact spots. All together. That's the one. Boom. Go over here. Grab the wheelbarrow, or the wagon one. Ooh, he dropped a three-star artifact on the artifacts run. Bonus! <laughs> yeah, you don't need to go that far. You can, if you just go to the wagon and turn back, then he doesn't even attack you. So now you head this way. Uh, right up there towards that place a little straw man you know this is an artifact spot but it's right beside one so you might as well just grab the free mora i always do this is the artifact spot this little tiny box and then we run down here to the shore there's a boat unique little boat here that gives you artifact every day Ooh, a green one. Then you run over here onto the deck. Go onto the dock. Clean these barrels. <laughs> Let me kind of double back a little bit. And go to uh, the five zone. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's like this old castle type thing or like an old building that had a basement. And... and ta da! Urns! Told ya, they love urns. Oh, green one. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Someone needs assistance. Okay. Look up. Going right up here. To this tent thing on the cliff. Yeah. Climb up to it. Jump across. Kinda walk to gain your stamina. Once you get targeted, run. Climb uh, this rock right here. Avoid all those bastards. Someone needs assistance. A lot of you guys will probably want to skip this one. Like, it's not the end of the world if you don't go the way to get it. But it is free adventure ex er, artifact XP. Track. Just keep going straight towards that direction. Until we get to the road. You'll see a hilly curl. He's over there digging up some, some stuff. Over by old wheel wagon. This barrel one? That's it. All right. Well, that concludes the route. So like I said, I, I usually start off here in the morning. So I'll be here, then to here, walk my way through here, teleport here, fall down, grab that, teleport here, fly down, grab that, fly down, grab that, fly down, grab that, teleport, run, run. 
teleport. Fly. Teleport. Run. Run, run. Teleport. Over. Up. Down there. Grab this guy. Grab this guy. Bunch of teleporting around. Just for singles. And clear off the middle. Then the last freaking one. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, stars are great. Trust me. Makes it so easy, especially when you look at your mini map and they're just there. Like, sometimes travel, like, with my mini map. I'm, like, not even looking at my guy. Just, like, looking at my map. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's the direction I want to go. It's going towards the star. So I really advise doing that. Like, just go onto your map and just click. One click. Choose your... I'd choose a star because it's, like, like, the artifacts are, like, symbolized by those little shiny stars. So And they're, like, the most important thing I can pick up from those type of items. So that's why they're my artifact ones. But you could use anything. Whatever fruit suits your boat, floats your boat. Just click on it again and it'll be there. Boom. Don't want it. Delete it. So we got all those green ones and all of these white ones. Look at that. So we got 5, 9, 18, 27. 36, 45, 54, 65, pr over 70 artifacts we just picked up. And like, that's gonna level up some, that's gonna make someone else in my party like really strong today. And I can do it every day without using any resin. So it's a good thing to think about, especially when you don't wanna spend money because like, you don't want to be using your resin on artifact dungeons when you should be using it on boss runs or getting like weapon materials or something. But with that, I do want to show one more thing. I've been collecting all my Primo gems. I haven't used a single one, just to give a sense of like how much stuff you can get from the game without spending a single cent. So like, I haven't done any pulls. I haven't used any resin refills. So this is all the amount of wishes I've that you can get without having to spend a cent. And that's just for the last, like I only started like last month. I'm going to keep going with that. I want to see how many I can get before, you know, it's maybe necessary. I'm sure they're going to make something super hard eventually. It's like a new level of the abyss, maybe. It's like very demanding elemental wise. And at that point, like, I'm not going to be able to just bare bone it with like one of each element. I'm probably going to need more. <laughs> and that's when the wishes will come. <laughs> Oh yeah, everyone will get to see. It'll be a spectacle. Anyway, bye bye for now. Like and subscribe, and also consider following his Twitch channel at Daddy Puzzles 420. Thanks for watching.